Happy day, everybody. It's Alden here, reporting from Crescent Beach, which is a few minutes drive from our home on the shore. And as you can see, it is an absolutely, unbelievably stunning day out here. The day is uh, March 20th, 2012. And there was actually some people in the water. And uh, I just decided I would take this day for myself, go out and enjoy some good weather, get a little walk in, get the old heart pumping. Oh my gosh, what do we have here? Aha! Uh -huh. This appears to be some ancient native scribes on the beach. Must have been unearthed as the tide went out. Looks like it represents a family. Uh, there's the, uh, uh, the uh, obviously, leaders of the family. Uh, one can only assume what they did for a living or who they were. The woman, let's call her uh, Patricia, has the traditional ceremonial dress on. And the uh, obviously, the head of the family... Patriarch is uh, wearing uh, pretty much next to nothing, which was common in those days. We don't know how far back these go. We'd have to get them tested. And this looks like the uh, family. It looks like there is uh, quite a large family. But this was not uh, unheard of in the day. It looks like the siblings are arranged in order. And I'm not sure who this person is, but they must be special, uh, judging by the shape of the head. It looks like somebody wanted to set them aside and show them that this person had something else going. And here we have, obviously, the youngest at the end. Oh, and I can see, moving on, this here looks to me like a very crude, very, very crude picture of could it be Canada? Could it be Canada? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's Canada or not. But it appears... Um, well, there's a special mark here. This looks like it might be Nova Scotia. Right there. Halifax. And here we go through New Brunswick. That's Maine sticking up there. Right there. And... Okay, let's put another X here. So it wasn't uncommon in those days for people to travel from, say, the center of the country, which we'll say, oh, you know, the Ottawa area, for instance, and travel and then move into, like, Nova Scotia over here. Over there. Now you can see it. So it looks like this family may have migrated from what was then... We don't know what that was back in the day. But it is modern-day Ottawa, and it looks like they ended up in Halifax. One can only surmise. One can only, you know, suggest. Now, here is, here is an interesting character. Again, you can tell by the oddly-shaped head. It looks like that maybe in high school, he may have suffered from... He might have been a scrawny kid. This is what it looked like. Yes, very, very scrawny. You can see uh, the artist's depiction of two little lumps where his arms are. Maybe suggests that this was a very skinny kid. So let's see what else we got. Oh yes. Now as we're moving along, it appears that this uh, man, given his ceremonial dress, or lack thereof, decided that being scrawny wasn't for him. So uh, it looks, uh, looks like he's working out. Those are weights. And it looks like this man felt the need to, um, to be more athletic. He wanted to be athletic. Perhaps he participated in sports. Maybe he was even a wrestler. Wrestling goes back thousands and thousands of years. And uh, uh, judging uh, uh, if it was important enough to put this person uh, to art, then this person must have worked very, very hard at, uh, at being, um, at best, a very mediocre athlete. So, and as we move along, oh, what do we have here? This looks like some sort of institution. 
looks like uh, a place of learning, perhaps. What do we have here? Oh, oh, yes. It looks like, in very crude script, that that might be Dal. Maybe Dalhousie. Maybe Dalhousie. So apparently, this person here, who was a moderately gifted athlete, decided that perhaps that wasn't enough and that he had to go to school to become and educate himself uh, to learn to be something more than, uh, than who he was. And it looks like he went to this school called Dal uh, with a very, again, very mediocre sports program. Uh, but apparently they know how to turn out uh, doctors and lawyers. So, very interesting. As we move along, we can see, yes, Yes, it appears that our friend, it now seems perfectly natural, sorry if this is blowing around a little bit, that our friend now is in love. Yes, that's what it appears. And we seem to be focusing on this one particular person. Let's call him Dan. Okay? So Dan appears to have met, a, well, what seems to be a very, very attractive woman in, uh, you know, the, the, the dress of the day. And, and she's holding some sort of crude instrument. Uh, it looks like a, a knife. Uh, um, maybe she's cutting her ties with her family to uh, move into uh, the, the household with this, her new man. Um, and she's leaving the village. We have no idea. We have absolutely no idea. It, it, maybe they're scissors. I don't know. I don't know. But, okay. What, 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 oh, hold that. Hold on. Yes, yes, it appears that this is a house of worship. This is a house of worship, and th this is probably representative of some of their spiritual beliefs. Um, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I have no idea, but it looks like there's water in the background, or perhaps, perhaps there are uh, waves. Maybe there's music. Maybe there's dancing coming out of there. Um, it looks like it's on some island, but I can't be sure. And as we move along, maybe the answers will be clearer. Yes, here we have. Look at this. The family, they're now holding hands. We know that this is our friend here because of the specific way uh, the artist chose to uh, draw the head. And there's a very attractive, a very beautiful mate. Let's call her Marie. Oh, and look what happened. Look what happened. They had a young one. They had a child. So obviously, yes, it now seems very clear. They got met. They met. They got married. They had a family. And now we can see what's going on here. We can see very clearly. Or one might say, well, that's a good name. Let's call him, let's call him Cleary. We'll call him Cleary. Now as we move along, uh-uh. Okay, this is a wave. I think this represents time. That's what I'm thinking. This represents time. So I'm assuming a, de a generation has gone by, or 20, 20 odd years. And, and then we have, what, what? look at that. Look at this. It looks like some sort of um, tanker or perhaps a, a machine of, of uh, mass destruction. There's all kinds of, what? What's that? Ah, okay. Nicola thinks it's a birthday cake. I'm not sure. But yeah, if this is a birthday cake, then this person must have lived a very, very, very long time. I mean, look at the, look at the amount of candles and the, the amount of heat emanating off of this thing. You know, it must have been fantastic in its day. Well, okay. Anyway, that is the story of a guy named Dan. He must have been very well respected in his community. He must have been intelligent. He must have been more, surely, than a mediocre athlete. And he must have been a fantastic family man. Happy birthday, Dan.